Look, I think this has a really good chance of happening in, in Lindor becoming a Met long term. Uh, but we should be really clear, and this is through a lot of reporting that I, that I can say this, uh, it's no sure thing. There was an assumption the day the trade was made that it would be a Mookie Betts type deal where you get Lindor locked up soon. It was part of the idea of trading two shortstops in Ahmed Rosario and Andres Jimenez. That is not the case, definitively not the case, Gary. Uh, the Mets' calculation was that giving up five years of control on Jimenez, three years of control on Rosario, and, the two, and then the two prospects in the deal was worth one year of Lindor and three years of control on Carlos Carrasco. That's the trade, and the Mets are totally comfortable. If they have Lindor for one year, Lindor walks. There's so many other high-quality shortstops available on the free agent market uh, this coming winter. Having said all that, Lindor is a guy that they see value in investing in. They're going to talk to him soon. He's already on board. There's a lot of reason for optimism, but there is no connection between the trade and what they gave up and the possibility of an extension, two separate transactions. And I think that's kind of a misperception among uh, some in the public on the day of the trade. You see how the whole thing comes together. I don't think you have to rush it. Uh, you know, and then that allows both parties to really feel if they're like they're comfortable, feel like this is you know what they really want long term. Because when you're talking about an eight to ten year commitment, if I was Lindor, look, I'm going to take the money. The money's up out there. You know, if you're going to be in that three hundred million dollar range, I don't think he's ever going to say no to that. But at the same time, he knows he can get that anywhere else next year. And if he doesn't feel comfortable here, maybe he wants to wait. And if you're the Mets, maybe you want to wait because you're not quite sure how he's going to react to this team and in this city. And then you can see what your options are next year with one of those other guys who could be a free agent and maybe you can get one for a little bit cheaper who might give you similar production i think with lindor you're really looking at numbers that you know they're not going to 365 that was mookie bet's number so he didn't become a free agent if that's what he's looking for then you know you can probably uh, call off the the conversations but i think there's a, a window now between now and and uh, the opening day that makes a lot of sense and really, this is a guy that I'm not overly concerned about him handling New York, where, where you know, there might be some downside where you're like, well, may, can he handle it? Do you want to wait? I don't want to wait for that because I think he's going to have a big season. And if he's going to lead the team to the postseason, which your expectations are, I think, you know, the bad news would be the price tag would, would not be going down. So it really behooves you to get something done sooner rather than later.